2008 to talk about Sharia in the UK to non-Muslims, I told them, when I first say Sharia, what is the first thing that comes to your minds? So they laughed and they said, cutting off hands. I said, but Sharia doesn't only prohibit theft. Sharia also prohibits two things, securitization and selling loans by loans, which are the two things that led 20 million people to lose their jobs in Europe in 2008. So you're talking about something very comprehensive, okay? But Sharia is a legislation of Muslims, for Muslims. If non-Muslims want to apply it, beautiful, let them do that. But I can't go and tell them you have to apply it, excuse me. This is even, I find it really crazy. But as a Belgian Muslim, I can go and tell others, Look, if you're having some uh, economic problems, why don't you look at our economic, Islamic uh, economy and look at it. Maybe you can benefit from it, you understand me? So offering it to them is good, but forcing them on it, this is crazy. Believe me, it's crazy. Understand me, yes. No, it's not wrong, of course. It's not wrong. Here, well, listen, even in the Arab countries now, not even one country is applying Sharia, by the way. Don't believe that. Some people, some countries are applying what is, I call, a selective way of applying Sharia. They apply it selectively. Whatever they like, they apply. Whatever they don't like, they don't apply. So, you don't have, you, you, where would you like to, to live? In the sea? So see, no, you live anywhere, wherever you are allowed to practice your religion uh, and, and so on. So do that. If there is some kind of oppression started to be put on you, lobby. Lobby. Okay. It's time for one question. 